It's like nothing moviegoers have ever seen. A strikingly surreal world with amazingly real characters. I thought it was really people dressed up in a costume. I trusted you. Trust me now, please. Oh, God, God. It's actually actors transformed into computer generated characters. Yeah, action. Director James Cameron reportedly spent $400 million to make Avatar. You're creating a world. Every creature in it, every blade of grass, every tree, every cloud in the sky, every little reflection in the eyes of the characters. And now that this world is created, most of the imagery stored in computers, the inevitable sequels, which Cameron has already announced, will be quicker and cheaper to make. He can hire the same actors and use their already created digital faces. Made here at this University of Southern California lab. Here's how it works. These 156 lights and two high resolution cameras captured in depth images of the actors' faces. The data from those images help create the digital characters, the shape of their faces and eyes, right down to every pore and wrinkle. Their images can now be dropped into future scenes in future films. And now it paves the way for other movies to be made with this technology. I think that'll pay big dividends in the future for Hollywood and for individual filmmakers. Avatar is also giving a huge boost to 3D filmmaking. 3D showings with their higher ticket prices make up 65% of the film's overseas box office and nearly 80% of its U.S. draw. That helped Avatar sink Titanic's 13-year-old box office record in just 40 days. And now that James Cameron has the technology in place, he could eventually dethrone himself again as king of the movie world. Ben Tracy, CBS News, Hollywood.